Hi there. So here's something really interesting about your body. Did you know that your feet absorb two to three times your body weight every time you land on them when you run? And even more amazing is when you jump off something, like if you jump off a small wall or off a set of stairs, you can land with up to three to four times your body weight impact in that foot. And that foot absorbs it and sends it through your body and is designed to do that. How does a little surface that small absorb and work with that kind of weight? Hi, I'm Violet Van Hees, and I love how our body is designed to help us do the things we love to do in life. And today, we're going to look at the foot. So the foot really is an architectural wonder. Here's mine. Our feet are made up of 26 bones each, each foot, and 33 joints among those bones in order to have structural support and movability inside there. Our feet are also designed in arches in every single direction. So if you take a look at your foot, I invite you to take off your socks and have a look. Anywhere you'd go, anywhere you'd slice your foot, you would find arches. And an arch is the strongest architectural design there is. And even the bones themselves in the foot, if we look at my skeleton friend here, if you look at the bones, you can see that this bone has an arch shape underneath it. All these long bones have arches underneath them. And the bones all together form arches in any direction. So again, the whole foot is set up to be arches anywhere you look. That makes it super strong. And then here's the magic. It's not just the fact that there's bony arches everywhere, but the place where all those arches actually intersect, where they all come together, is a soft, springy place in your foot that's behind the ball of the foot, sort of behind the fourth toe and behind the ball of the foot, right in here. It's called the bubbling spring in acupressure. It's got a bunch of different names. I call it your trampoline. It's like this built-in little trampoline or springy place inside your foot. And what it does is it lets all the, the muscles and the bones of the foot work to have this kind of movement. So that you can shake around things on the ground and you can find the spring and the, the absorbing and the propulsion that comes from having that kind of trampoline in the middle of all these lovely bony supports. So I invite you to go find that in your foot. Go look at your foot and notice where is that little springy place? Is there a springy place in the middle of your foot? And it's different than being right on the bony parts. If you go right on the bones, they have a different sense than if you go right in that springy place. You can see my foot starts to flex and shape around my fingers when I get into the springy place here. And then find out, if you use that on the ground, if you go feel for the spring in your foot on the ground, what's that like? I'll do it. So I'll go here. And I can let my foot bounce up and down on the ground, on the table here. I can step on both feet, step up and down, and move around a little bit here. And look, for well, where's that springy place? Where do you start to feel like your feet are working like cat's feet? And then take this out in the world and see what difference it makes. If you go out and play with your springy feet, does that feel different than how you've been using your feet to date? Have you even noticed your feet to date? Feet are amazing. I invite you to go and notice what they're up to, pay attention to how you can find that spring, and see what difference that makes for you. If you'd like to know more about feet, or you want to know more about your feet, or you want to find out about more if your feet are springy, and you'd like some more help with this, get in touch. I'm at www.flowingmotion.ca. And in the meantime, go out there and have fun exploring your amazing feet. Thank you.